beautiful day out today. So the machines are idle. Doesn't mean I have to be though, I guess. Well, there's one option. So for today, we have a project for the local bread man. And I mean, I like bread, so we'll help out the bread man, I guess. He wants a couple of uh, dollies made to wheel around stacks of these uh, crates when they're full. So we got our pieces cut and we have to do a little bit of welding, put some casters on and we're good to go. So I'm walking around at the local metal recycler the other day and I'm thinking there's a project here somewhere. And I look around, sure enough, there it is. A few pieces of this uh, flat bar. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, that would make a dandy tool, tool, tool holder rack. So we cut out a few pieces, clean them off, and we're going to weld them on there when we do the bread man's job. And we'll have a little tool holder rack for next to the lathe. This edge we decided to divide the part in, in thirds, so that will bring us in uh, 482. and did a test haul with the uh, in-mill in the drill truck. came out okay. Our run out's a little high, but and I just kind of bore a hole. It's not too bad at all. So we're going to move out and do our second hole. Now. for me. Okay, next we got to figure our hinge hole. Our hinge hole is out halfway. 722. Thank <laughs> you. 
to be in collector space today. That's it, it's going to be scary. Okay, change of plans. We're going to try that one at a quarter inch deep. Okay, so we raised the hit a bit and we reset our zeros and got back on location. Okay, the plan for this adjuster is to use a drill to get a tapered bottom in our hole. Uh, we'll cut a plug on the lathe with the same angle and we'll offset the center hole a little bit to give us an adjustable sleeve and then we can lock it all down with the with the bolt. Let's try it out. Boys home for lunch, gotta go. There's a boy. Hello, boy. Hi. <laughs> Are you home for lunch? Yeah, why? Okay, we'll get you some lunch and then send you back to school. <laughs> okay, we're back. Our pieces didn't turn out too bad. I'm not sure if it to finish on the inside of the paper, but I think it'll do just nicely. Next we have to make the part we've got drawn out here, which will be the tapered plug to win there. Uh, we 
was shooting for a 750 diameter, you know, roughly 450 long, not including the taper, of course. Uh, 118 degrees on the tip, then uh, we'll counterboard a hole for the uh, Allen screw. Okay, so we've got our four draw mounted, uh, removed a couple of draws to set up the compound. Uh, the easiest way I can get this 118 is to use a couple of angle plates, a 1 and a 30. And we'll nestle these guys right in here, and we'll set our compound to 59. The material is going to be a piece of 1045. Uh, we'll get that dialed in and then we'll uh, start cutting. Okay, let's do our 118. Center drill. We've got our hole offset. Uh, next thing is to counterboard it back in. Okay, first things first. I'll move the camera up this first, I guess. But we're going to face off. straighter if I tried, but it was hardly necessary at the time. Okay. Let's see if we can clean out that hole. Okay, so we're ready to realign our uh, our plug and do the counter bore. I'm going to use this method as well. I don't think I invented this one. I must have saw it somewhere on the internet. But we'll go 
through it anyway. So we get our dial indicator. Bring this up close. same as you would right directly on the part. So we're minus on that one. We're at 68. That's going to go the way. So we pulled the 34. the evidence. So we'll put a half inch counter bore in there. Okay, we've gone to a boring bar, much better choice. We'll get a zero established on the poor man's DRO now before we. Okay, so the plan now is to put a hex on the end of our adjustment slug. We're going to hold it on in a collar block. There's not a lot, but we're going to. I think we're going to do it. I guess the next project is Mr. Lipton's uh, adjustable stop. We'll probably get that one on the go soon. So now we need to pull 94 from this to get a 9 sixteenths. Okay, update on the bread man. We got his two racks done. What he wanted was a rack where he can come into his truck and slide. Let's see if I can do this with wet paint. Slide his bread off. Probably 10 or 12 of these racks into this one. And wheel it off into the store. Do his delivery, come back to the truck. That should work for him just fine. So here's our completed tool holder rack. It holds 12 tools. I'm going to need a few more to fill it up, I guess. The swivels out of the way when you, when you don't need it. Or if you need to move it. 
most times it'll just stay right in place here, but it'll like quick and easy access.